Cameroon's national dialogue has ended, but has been boycotted by separatist and moderate politicians. This summit is expected to open the door to an historic peace agreement, ending a fight between English-speaking separatist militias and the army that has cost nearly 2,000 lives and forced half a million people to flee. Critics say the talks were not inclusive and did not involve any discussions about a return to federalism that many say is the solution to the conflict. President Paul Bia over the weekend released his main rival, Maurice Camto, from prison after insurrection charges against him were dropped in what the government says is a gesture of national reconciliation. I'm not satisfied with the outcome. Uh, because, I mean, personally, um, what I hold so dearly, a return to a federation, was not one of the recommendations. But the positive I'm taking out of the dialogue was that it was very frank and very honest. Um, for those of us who were in the hall, could tell you how honest it was. And the debates were very heated. Um, I saw how even some people in government um, acknowledge the fact that some of the positions that we were raising um, was, the right, was the right position. I'm not very satisfied. I'm not very satisfied because um, the root causes of the problems are not really addressed. The root causes of the problem is the form of the state. And if the form of the state is not really addressed, then we've not really solved the problem. But yes, we've come, we've talked, proposals have been made, certain uh, opportunities also have been provided.